Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Falling High School. My name is Jordan Dre. I hope you guys had a wonderful first week of school and we're glad to have you back. Today is Tuesday, August 18th, and we've got some announcements for you today, so listen up because this is the Lion Pride News. Anyone who is approved to the Empire Helpers this year but does not have it on your schedule needs to stop outside Mrs. Champion's room 406 or Mrs. Cody's room 805 to take a picture of instructions for upcoming events and Google Classroom codes for the Empire Helpers Club. This site will have all training dates, meeting plans, and future communication for upcoming events. Any senior wanting to run for a class office needs to pick up an application from Miss K in room 920. All applications will be due Wednesday the 19th by 3 o'clock. I'm Julian Cruz and this is the Locker Room Report. If you're interested in filming both practices and games for the football teams, please see Coach Williams in room 108 or stop by the Lions room after school. The basketball teams will be holding tryouts this week. The boys' tryouts will be Monday through Friday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. If you have any questions, please see Coach Gillian in room 910 or in the boys' locker room. The girls' tryouts will be Saturday the 22nd from 10 a.m. until noon. All athletes must have all paperwork submitted to Dragonfly Max if you wish to try out. And finally, it's game week. This Friday night, the Foley Lions will be taking on the Robertsdale Bears. The game will start at 7, so make sure you're there and support our Lions for the kickoff of our athletic season. And that's all for the Locker Room Report. Have a great day, Foley High School. Today for lunch, we will have a taco salad, pinto beans, broccoli, and for your fast food line, we're having cheese pizza, chicken sandwiches, potato wedges, and don't forget your grab and go. Have a great day full of high school. Good morning, Foley High School. This is uh, Shane Tucker. I'm one of the assistant principals here along with my other uh, colleagues here. We all comprise the assistant principal team here at Foley High School. Uh, and we're going to talk to you a little bit, tell you what grade we work with, and tell you a few details about things here at school that we need you to know. Uh, and we're going to start with Mr. Akins. Hello, ninth grade uh, Foley Lions. So I'm uh, mainly in charge of ninth grade discipline. Uh, Tardy Hall, which is I like to explain, our first bell is going to ring at 7:39, and late bell is at 7:44. So, if you're getting dropped off, uh, you need to be inside the building in the home room by 7:44. Otherwise, you report to me for Tardy Hall. If you need a bus, also I'm your man for that as well, and I'll also refer you back to Mr. Tucker. Again, my name is Shane Tucker. I'm one of the assistant principals, and uh, I work with the sophomores mainly, but we obviously all work with all students. Uh, but I want to talk to you a little bit about parking lot that falls under one of my areas that I deal with. Uh, a few particulars about parking lot for those who are old enough to drive, sophomores and above. You must be a sophomore in order to get a parking pass, but uh, you must have your parking pass, have a parking pass from the school, one that's current this year, not one that's been duplicated from someone else doing that. Um, and you can get those from Ms. Gartman in the front office once you turn 16 and you're a sophomore. You can get the application there. Uh, some other things, when you approach campus and when you come into the parking lot, make sure that your speed is adjusted down because we do have pedestrians in the parking lot, buses and what have you. So make sure your speed is down and keep your music down. Uh, we do love music, particularly. I'm an Elvis fan, of course. But we don't want any music loud because it can be distracting. So keep your music down. Once you get here, get out of your car. You don't get out five minutes later when you arrive on campus. You need to get out of your car, 
make your way into the pavilion. Of course, the building is now open earlier, which uh, Mr. Watson will talk to us about. But we need you to get out of your car and come on into the building, to the calf, and make sure you get out and get moving. Uh, starting this week, my teachers who are on parking lot duty, when they see some, someone sitting in their car, they're still going to take your tag number down. They're going to tell you good morning, write your tag number, get it to me, and I'll be dealing with those who are not getting out of their cars when they arrive. Um, if you ride a bus or are dropped off, do not go to the parking lot. Uh, stay in the pavilion or in the building. And in the afternoon, don't leave the school and go out to the parking lot unless you're a driver or you're riding with a friend or a sibling or something of that nature. And then finally, related to the parking lot, there are no drop-offs, no student drop-offs in the parking lot or pickups. That uh, The student drop-off and pickup is behind the 900 wing. Uh, we want to keep the pedestrian traffic down as much as possible there. And now I'll defer to uh, Mr. Watson. Hey, good morning. Uh, Mr. Watson, I am the uh, junior class principal. Uh, my office is in room 410 if you ever need to come see me. So, um, hope hope to uh, see you on a positive note. Um, as far as the bells, just kind of going off what, uh, leading off of what Mr. Aikens talked about, the um, class, the school building is going to be open at 715 this year. Okay, so you guys can come on in the building. We do have those three um, spots that you have to come in. Okay, it's the 800 hall by the ROTC room, the main front entrance to the school, and then the cafeteria side door, okay, that goes out to the pavilion. So, one of those three places, um, and we've opened up the building a little earlier this year to kind of get everybody in uh, in a nice, orderly manner, okay? There's only one bell this year before Tardy homeroom, okay? It's at 739. When that bell rings, you have five minutes uh, before you're considered tardy to homeroom. The tardy to homeroom bell rings at 744, okay? So again, just one bell, okay? So that's why we're opening up the building a little bit earlier and then to help with flow into the building. So make sure you get to homeroom on time or as Mr. Aiken said, once that bell rings at 744, you'll have to go see him in the tardy, uh, at the tardy table in the cafeteria, okay? And uh, now we're going on to Ms. Webb. Good morning, seniors. I'm Jessica Webb. I'm the assistant principal over the senior class. I'm located in 410, where I was last year. Just a couple things, side notes on what he just finished saying. In the mornings, just a reminder, the restrooms that are open are the 100-200. That's right by the cafeteria. That's the same restrooms that'll be open in the afternoon. Because we're amping up our cleaning all over the school, we're having to clean the restrooms a lot more frequently. So when you go around the school, if you notice that a restroom is locked, it's because it's on a cleaning cycle and those chemicals have to sit for so many minutes before we can open that restroom. And Mr. Tucker put schedules on the outside of those doors. So if you look at that yellow sticker that's on the outside of the door, it'll tell you what times those restrooms are closed and those schedules were sent out to all your teachers. So once we get Kind of a feeling for that hopefully we'll, we'll you know you guys can learn which restrooms are open at which times of the day and again that's just so that we can make sure that we're getting the cleaning done that needs to be done right now uh, seniors i'll be meeting with you wednesday to go over senior break so we'll all be in the cafeteria wednesday during fourth period so that we can discuss the guidelines and procedures for senior break so that information will be coming soon and i also sent some uh, information out to the senior teachers as well is that it, Mr. Tucker? I think that's it. Again, we welcome you. We're glad to have students back in the halls, back on campus, hearing the band playing, volleyball's in the gym, football going on, cross country's running around, swimming will be starting up soon. Uh, we're excited to see uh, a little bit of normal coming back to us. We will remind you, keep your mask up, make sure you're sanitizing your hands. Uh, we are in different times, and we want to make sure we keep everybody safe. But. Um, I think that's it. I think the last thing we'd like to say is we'd like to give y'all all the hearty go lines on a three, two, one. Go, go Lions. Lions! And that's all the announcements we had for you today. Signing off for the last time, the class of 2020. I'm Lexi Coleman. I'm Chloe Amos. I'm Caitlin Knight. I'm Michael Bingett. I'm NJ Brown. I'm Peyton Holcomb. I'm Jonathan Aikens. I'm Zach Van Wilson. George Oss. Bell Rhea. Alexis McAster. We wish you the best of luck this upcoming school year. Have a great day. Go, go Lions! Lions.